So last weekend, I ended up hanging around with a bunch of random people that I have never ever met before. And we had a very interesting conversation. And I hope by the end of this video, start having an interest in talking to people that we call strangers. So last weekend, I was with my mother ko for her checkup. And while I was waiting for her to check up, I had coffee first. And while I was drinking the coffee, I was thinking, what am I going to do after the checkup of my mom? And naisip ko yung mga friends ko and naalala ko na all of them are in a relationship and weekends are babe time. So I look at my phone, check for some events, then I suddenly saw this. Beyond small talk is that space where you are allowed to bring down your walls and just be you. It's a break from the ego and agenda. It's a place where you get to know people for the sake of getting to know them. The rules are simple. No talk of work, school, the news, or the weather. Instead, we go through three rounds of intentional interaction. Rather than looking for people with similar jobs and common interests, find others with whom you can resonate. Meet people outside your bubble from different countries and cultures. Share ideas and perspectives rather than business cards and LinkedIn profiles. After I read the page, I was able to get my heart beat and I find it really interesting and it means that I should go. That's why I told you that I was just with my mom going to the clinic for her check-up so I was really underdressed and dapat uwi pa ako. If muwi ako, malamang sa malamang hindi na ako pupunta doon kasi ah, people are just creatures of comfort. So yun, so I just went there underdressed. So the event starts ng 6.30 and dumating ako doon sa venue ng 6.40 and as I entered yung venue, they reminded me of the rules na no talking about school, no talking about work, no talking about politics, religion, and weather. Then they handed me yung so card. So how it works is you'll use yung card as your conversation starter. So let me share to you the one that I was able to take home. So how it works nga is you'll use yung card as a conversation starter and may question yon. So para ma-share ko sa inyo yung experience, I'll just share to you yung mga parang questions na sinagot ko with bunch of random people. And hopefully, parang uh, may enjoy nyo yung story nung nangyari in some sort of way. One of the interesting questions that I have answered with those random people are, uh, this question was, uh, what would you have changed uh, if you could go back in your life 10 years ago? And yung sinagot ko dun sa uh, question nine is, I would have probably said yes to more opportunities. Because uh, one example is, nung nag-filter kami nung uh, mga ka-batch ko sa Singapore, sa Mapua, and uh, instead of nagtipid ako, I should have parang go with them dun sa Deluge para may experience in Singapore. I should have gone with them dun sa Artificial Beach. I should have said yes na sumama dun sa food trip sa Hawker Chan. Yung mga ganung moments lang and also yung mga moments na I should have uh, approached someone that I like. Bisa na torpe ako. Yun, yung mga ganun lang, those mini regrettable moments. Uh, another interesting question then is, uh, when would you forgive someone? When someone ask for apology or pagka nagbago na siya? So I mean, those are like interesting question. Uh, so yung parang naging answer namin dun is, if it's a family, automatically once they apologize, I mean, you have have to forgive them or parang you're good but if you're someone who was in a emotional relationship with them siguro yun nga uh, you have to see them change muna before you forgive them another question dun sa so card that is interesting is what's the common theme between the people that you have dated and yung sinagot ko dun is uh, I dated women that grew up without any father figure and hindi ko naman sinasadya it just happens parang coincidence lang but you know Weird enough. When it comes to this kind of events, uh, I make sure na I participate, I ask questions, but I never am yung pinakamadaldal, yung lagi nang sasalita. I prefer to listen more than to speak. So, ayun, I just make sure na I make people around me feel na I'm present. What I like about talking to people is it is a good alternative to travel in a way na it will expand your perspective. So, let me give an example. Coming back from the question na what's the common theme between the people that you have dated, dun sa table namin, meron dalawang tao dun na have never ever dated anyone before and na-amaze ako kasi akala ko in the day's age, everyone parang has dated somebody na kasi nga with the rise of the online dating apps, parang dating has become very convenient. Pero yun, I was wrong. I was wrong. Parang sinasabi lang nila na dumali yung pakikipag-date. But no, in reality, it's still hard to see someone na you're interesting. So yun, I mean, parang mali yung idea na pinapresent ng media na just because there are now online dating apps like Tinder and Bumble, 
parang almost everyone has dated somebody na. Another interesting person na na-meet ko dun sa event was someone who's in a polyamory uh, relationship. So parang polygamy. So what it means is you're an emotional relationship but you are fine with your partner sleeping with other people. So I guess you get what I mean, di ba? So yung parang point ko dun is I think Filipinos are very conservative na walang papatal sa ganong type of relationship but I was wrong. It blows my mind na I mean, there are still Filipinos na progressive and not just conservative. I think I was able to share yung perspective ko na when you talk to strangers, uh, nag expand yung perspective mo. Kasi how I see this is uh, we, we humans have our prejudgment, have our generalization, and pagka nakamit ka ng person na beyond dun sa pagkakaintindi mo, parang it humbles you, it makes you feel na akala mo madami ka ng alam. Pero yung pala, ang late pa lang ng alam mo, and parang there's more to learn, and yun, parang makes you more interested to learn more. Another thing that I realized coming from that event is we are social creatures. We crave for belongingness, and we seek for like-minded people, and parang reflecting on my channel and the comments that you have shared in the last video ko, I'm starting to figure out yung niche ng channel ko. And this channel will be para a self-help channel, major in personal finance. I know, it sounds funny, right? It's good to know na there are people who seek for content that has substance and add values to their daily lives. And from now on, uh, what I want to do with this channel is to build a community for like-minded Filipinos who want to improve their lives in small ways. Before I end this video, let me just read and answer comments from my last video. This is from Mr. Tan. Ano po, so Jack, sa inyo, uh, yung guest, guest ko po would be Aquarius Guru. January 19 to February 19. Uh, almost close enough, but I'm a Sagittarius. I was born in December, so that's it. How can an engineering graduate student slash entrepreneur make a shift in the perspective of other Filipinos towards a better society with regards to financial management and life in general? So, I'll skip yung question na yun muna and probably make a video about it. So, move on to the third question. Uh, would you prefer working on an online job over manual experience? If yes, may suggestions po ba kayo sa best online jobs and pwede try. I personally prefer yung online jobs kasi it's convenient but I don't think it's an option para sa lahat. I think uh, it's easier na kumuha ka muna ng manual labor job and have an online job on the side. So, I think mas, uh, mas preferable yun for uh, everyone, suggestion ko where to find an online job. I suggest check mo yung getmagic.com and yung sa job street, just look for virtual assistant. So, I think those are good online jobs. Does it really pay to be calculated or to play risky sa mga bagay sa life? I know you'd probably say na balance is the key, but I wonder if kung wala sa ba si balance sa picture, ano kaya pwedeng gawin? So, hindi balance yung sagot ko dito. Uh, yung sagot ko dito is uh, know where you are in your life. So, if bata ka pa, if you're young, kakagraduate mo pa lang, wala ka pang family, wala ka pang responsibility, I suggest go big, go risky. Yung reason ko behind is this. If bata ka pa, you could afford to play risky sa life kasi pagka naman nagkamali ka, you could always correct unlike pag matanda ka na. And plus, uh, yung i-risk mo lang is sarili mo eh. I mean, if matanda ka na, you have your family. Pagka nagkamali ka, you're also risking your life ng family mo. So, ayun. Uh, suggest pagka bata ka pa when you're in your early 30s or below, pwede ka pa maging risky. But if you're in your, ano na, uh, late 30s, you probably want to be calculated now with your moves. So, ayun. I hope may answer satisfied yung question mo. Last question, question number 5. Uh, do you play parkour? No, but I would like to try. To Raven, Lex, Daniel, and Mr. No. And thank you for your comment and parang it gives me hope na if I make more quality videos, I could turn this channel into a community where I could bring like-minded individuals into a physical space kagaya dun sa uh, event na pinuntahan ko but for my community, for this channel, uh, yung parang main uh, topics that I could share to you or we could talk about is yung financial literacy, entrepreneurship, minimalism, and yung parang pinaka-general parang uh, just being a uh, good Filipino citizens, diba? To everybody else, please let me hear your voices sa comment section down below. Uh, let me know kung ano pa yung mga topics na gusto niyong marinig sa akin with this kind of niche, uh, a self-help major in personal finance na niche. So, ayun, uh, it will really help me conceptualize yung mga future videos na gagawin ko. So, ayun, yun lang. Uh, hope you have a great day, guys. Bye! Hi, if you're watching up to this point ng video, I would love to ask for a favor sana. Kindly hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. That would definitely help me make more videos in a more sustainable manner. That's it. Have a great day. Bye!